Hey guys, what's up? Uh, so we're back with another episode of Peaky Blinders. Um, I don't actually quite remember what happened last. Oh wait, no, yes I do. Um, okay, so Paul, Aunt Polly, um, she was like drinking, right? Because she was upset about uh, her kids. Because um, Tommy got in contact with um, the son, her son, and he told him, like, you know, your mom just, your birth mom just wants to talk to you, um, if you're interested, you know, here, I think he, like, gave him the address and everything, it, I think he gave him, like, a card, or, you know, that other mom, she, like, snatched it out of his hand, she was all mad about that, uh, which I do understand, he, you know, that was definitely not, um, respectful at all for when Tommy did that, but, I mean, you know, it's Peaky Blinders. Um, but Aunt Polly wanted, she wanted to know, she was desperate and wanted to know, um, where she was at so she can, you know, go get him or whatever, and Tommy tried to tell her, like, you can't do that. They're gonna call the cops and you can't, I can't give you the address. And she got all mad, which, you know, um, but she was all drinking, and, cause it was, it was the celebration, it was like the opening of the bar, her son was at her door when she was coming back home, waiting for her, and I think that's where we left off, Then that's crazy, um, but yeah, there's like a few other stuff, like everything that's going on with, um, yeah, Arthur, right, um, I forgot the younger brother's name, the youngest brother. I think it was, was it? shit, man, these names, man, they're, <laughs> they're losing me. But the youngest brother uh, was trying to help. Um, he had the best intentions. He was just trying to help. Obviously, it's not the right thing to do at all, but he was trying to help uh, Arthur get out of, you know, his slump. He was fighting very aggressively, and he, like, killed a boy, and they, uh, yeah, they covered that up. Um, but yeah, Arthur's dealing with a lot right now. So yeah, I guess we're gonna get right into this episode. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and full uncut version is on my Patreon. He was murdered this morning in a street show in the patch. He was a Irish, he's a person of interest to your department, sir. The, the king has offered the rebel Irish a treaty. Now, some of the Fenians want to accept it. And the IRA do not. Now, the IRA have a long and glorious relationship with the Garot. And we all. But you should understand, Master, I have no regrets about my previous mission in this city. No, oh, sir. I imagine you boys have quite a laugh at my expense. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's funny how you handled it, but. He's bold. All right. That is 100% true. He is losing his mind. No. <laughs> Deepest kid. What are you, boxer? Deepest kid like Billy the kid. You ever been arrested? Yeah. Yeah? No. Good. You're the first block we've had here today with no criminal record. Wow. So well, bar coppers make their quota of convictions by having men stood up to be arrested. We'll give you five quid for your trouble. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's all kids these days. Mm. They didn't fight. They stayed kids. <laughs> Damn. The man who came to the house, driving a push car, he looks rich. What does he do? He works with horses. Really? I love horses. <laughs> then it's in the blood. Got about a million questions. So do I. It's all right that it's me, isn't it? I don't have any choice. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's true. People took you away. And it is all right that it's me, isn't it? I thought it would be worse. <laughs> Oh, I will shoot oh, your fucking head off. Time's up. Guys. 
No, not the time. Not the time. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is your cousin. Holly's son. Oh, I thought you already met me. I used to throw you out the window so John could catch you. Don't remember any of it. All I remember is the day they took me away. Shit, he actually remembers that? That's awful. Welcome to the Shelmy family. Later on, we'll show you the ropes. Is he... S I was gonna say, I don't think he's, like, staying for good. I think for right now, he's visiting. Who are you calling? My mother. I mean, I know what you mean. And how are you gonna tell her you're going home? Holly said I could stay for a few days. What age are you, Michael? <laughs> Seventeen. Which means it's not up to you, right? I may see in a few weeks. I'll make up my own mind. Do you know what we do? Yes. I think I know what you do. You think? Yeah. But you're young. So you think what we do is all right. It's not all right. People get hurt. I'll call your mother. And I will drive you to the station. You know, sometimes Tommy's actually right about things. It's his little wishing well. It's made of white bricks. Right in the middle of the village green. Everybody says how pretty it is. But I swear to God, if I spend another day in that village, I'm gonna blow it up with dynamite. Probably blow my hands off with it, but it'd be worth it. You're Polly's son, all right? <laughs> Next slide! Oh yeah, I remember this guy. Venom. I'm just kidding. The air rated bread company of Camden Town. Anyone asks, that's what you do. You're bakers. The coppers in Camden Town are on our side. Don't touch any of the bread. It'll most likely explode. I haven't even seen any bread. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that wasn't that funny. He'll wake up, and the last thing he will remember is your funny little joke. I mean, what? There were fucking rules here for a fucking reason. Why, right, simply they have to be obeyed. All right? Anything, right, that your superior officer says to you, not disgust! Jewish women, you do not go anywhere near them, because Jewish women for you are off the fucking menu. Get him out of here. I like this fucking work. You've got a key. I've got eight hundred pounds left in the Shelby property fund. And I need someone down here to look for suitable properties. Do poor people tend to a room, no repairs, no water? And if they complain, you just send Arthur and the boys round. Anyway, I was just passing. Thanks for the tea. It's not good. At all. I don't like it. Cleaning job's gone. But I have come to clean away some dirt. Is that the, the boy's you mother? You killed my son! Yeah. You take it! Your son was a boxer. No! He was a boy. But if you're gonna use it, point that thing at my head. That's where the trouble is. Do it! This poor fucking mother, man. She's so scared. You can finish it with me if you like. Okay, Arthur, you can see how fucking scared she is. You're gonna scare her even more? Now look, for you, you'll get paid weekly. <laughs> like that's gonna just replace what she lost. Yeah. You have a sons. That's not... <laughs> Do nothing, Arthur. Nothing. You people. Look back the fucking mirror. 
Seven years bad luck, that is. <laughs> I think you guys already had bad luck <laughs> to begin with. Maybe it's just karma for all the shit you guys do. Done. You don't even fight me anymore. And it's no sport getting through the black country with this truce and all these fucking cars. <laughs> when did you last ride a horse, Tom? Our scheduled meeting is not until Sunday. You just wanted to show me that you know where I live, isn't that it? <laughs> yes, we had a meeting and your letter was read aloud. As a matter of fact, there was quite a lot of hilarity at the meeting. The gentlemen all found it quite funny. <laughs> Do the gentlemen sometimes find you funny? <laughs> I know I do. We will discuss our business on Sunday. <clears throat> there was another reason I came to see you tonight. The lodgings. Chosen for you by the police department. Well, your landlady used to run the most famous whorehouse in Stetchford. She's only semi-retired. I bet the gentleman would find that funny, eh? No. Deepest kid. Profession. Umbrella Mender. I'm found in possession of betting slips. Any explanation? <laughs> Take him down, will you? You killed him, huh? As I've explained, he's not easy to get at. Yeah. Tell him it's right. it's right now. When he's away from his familiar territory, we heard from a guard at Winston Green Prison that one of their boogies has just been put inside. A kid called Harold Hancocks. We can make a point. He's bewitching them. Gypsy stuff. Potions. Meantime, what do you want us to do about the kid in the cage in Birmingham? All right. Why would you want me to say that out loud? Is there somebody listening? You can tell he's not choking him that hard. Obviously, for like, you know, like in real life. Poor guy. At least he knows he's going to be set afterwards. Oh shit. Tell everybody. This is what happens to blinders who come in a grave from now on. Look, I'm not a blinder. I'm, I'm not real. I'm not real. Oh no, no, no. I just jinxed him. I j he wanted to come in and say hello. Shut up, John. There is nothing of interest to Michael in this room. Last night, one of our men had his throat cut in Winston Grain. This morning, I had a telegram saying it was Sabini who ordered it. If our men think we can't look after them in prison, they'll not work for us. Sabini knows that. Break a couple of windows, get yourselves arrested. And if our coppers get you into the green, you could find the bastards who did it. He was just a kid. Yeah. Well, as company treasurer, I need your permission to spend a thousand guineas on a horse. When was this decided? You've been busy with Marco. So in the absence of common sense, you boys have had an idea. When we make our move on Sabini's racing pitches, any men we get into the betting enclosure will be lifted by Sabini's police. Coppers won't know where to look. Hmm. A good race horse is an investment. We need to diversify the portfolio. It's so we'll have to go with him for protection. So, I thought I told you to lock that door. Look, are you listening? I want to go with them. You see? It'll be all right, Mum. Been to loads of horse auctions before with my uncle. Oh, that did it. That did it. I'll go there, buy an horse, come back. No. He has to understand why. I was mad. Oh, Pa. When I was Michael's age. Yeah. I killed a hundred men and seen a thousand die. Yeah. If you wanted to stay. Let him come. I mean, I get what he's saying, but it's not. <laughs> You're not supposed to kill people and watch people die all the time. What was he like, my dad? I won't lie to you. He died drunk, squeezed between a boat and a lock. Real river gypsy's death. Hmm. But he could sing. You've got his same beautiful eyes. He fell in with the wrong crowd when he was a boy. 
I have told them not to blow that horn. <clears throat> Let's see. But we'll have to take turns because there's only one cup. What? Sandwiches. <clears throat> yeah. Holly made bloody sandwiches. <clears throat> All right, we will drink the tea, and we will eat the sandwiches, and then we will drive on. All right? No crumbs, Charlie. <laughs> no weapons, no drinking. John, we will stay together. When the horse comes up, I will do the bidding. I got a feeling, Tom, something is arrived. It's all right, Curly. You're just in an unfamiliar place. We all are. Damn. I hope he's wrong. I feel like I he's not, though. Hmm? People come late because they know what they want. I see what's happening. I see what's happening. All right, Tommy, this is her. Do we hear 800 guineas? 850. 850. Good for this one. Okay, why? It's beautiful. 1,100. 1,200. 1,700, thank you. That's it, Tom. You have to stop. You don't have it in your belt. Yes, I do. I'm having the arse. I feel something bad. Hmm. No. Billy can use one of my geldings. Last time. 2050. Sold to Mr. Thomas Shelby. I'm curious. Why is your business, Mr. Shelby? Import export. But I also sell pegs and tell fortunes. <laughs> so I keep that in mind. You beat us to it. Did I? I was trying to nab a filly for my stud. Sorry? Thomas Shelby from where? From Birmingham. Goodness. No, not much. Hey, Carlton. I breed racehorses and train them. What is it you do? Shelby! Come on, hurry up. We gotta go. I swear to God, those guys. Oh, I do bad things. Right. That bloody time. Oh, Tommy, maybe she was at something bad I had the feeling about. Ah, she looks all right to me, Curly. Tommy, not gonna me. try. Why, why the fuck would you do that? You... He had a bad feeling. I swear to God, if he's the one, if Curly's the one that actually fucking dies, what? Was he biting him? Marco, you didn't see a thing. This didn't happen. Marco, give me the keys. I'm all right to drive. Polly's gonna be fucking pissed. She's gonna find out. I already know she's gonna find out. So, how'd it go? It was cold in the van, but it was super. There's a devil. <laughs> Blood all over himself. It's really great. Hmm. I was very worried about Curly for a second there. Like I said, I, I, he was the one that said something that he had a bad feeling. So I thought, you know, usually when people say that, usually something bad happens to, like them. So I'm glad nothing happened to him though. But yeah, Arthur needs to get that anger under control. But the I was gonna say the the kid, the kid that died, um, in in prison. I felt so bad for him. I felt so bad for him. Okay, his Digbeth kid. That was his name, Digbeth. Um, I'm pretty sure. I hope I'm saying that right. Yeah, that was really fucked up. I was not expecting that at all. And this this whole stuff with uh, Aunt Polly and Michael, it's not it's not gonna go well. He's gonna. You can tell he he already kind of said it himself to Tommy that like he's done with where he lives and he I think he just I think he's just bored and he wants excitement and you know the Peaky Blinders being a part of that is like gonna 
he's gonna try to stick with them and he I feel like he's gonna get hurt and but I know Aunt Polly's gonna find out about what happened um you know it's Aunt Polly she, she's gonna find out probably not might not find out until like a good episode or two later I don't know but she's gonna find out oh yeah that's right this poor mom so the what happened with Arthur and that mom in the bar I don't know what Arthur expected. Of course, he was going to have to suffer the consequences of what he did. That's fucked up, though. I'm glad he didn't, like, hurt her. I I was afraid he was going to. But I am ready for that, uh... Let's see. Let me go back to see what her name is. May. May Carlton? Well, to me, you know, they're, they're, they're giving eyes. So I don't know if maybe... Tommy and May might get together in the future. That's just what it seemed like to me, but I don't know. Maybe they'll be enemies or something. I don't know. We'll have to find out. Uh, but it didn't seem... It seemed like maybe she'll uh, help him get over Grace. I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's about it right now, guys. Um, so thank you so much for watching and i really hope you guys like this episode and the reaction and whatever you guys have to uh add just let me know in the comments below and i'll get to you if i can um so yeah full uncut version is on my patreon and i'll see you guys next episode